Hello everyone, this is Miss Allen and I'm going to do a quick recap of what you missed for week two. So if you missed my class on any of the days in week two, uh, we're going to talk about what you missed. So first of all, you need to go to Canvas and then we're going to log in as you. Um, so then you're going to go to uh, your course for me. Um, obviously, these are all my courses because only one class a day. I have a writing. Okay. So once you're in my course shell, my Canvas shell, um, you're going to see what I missed, which is where this video is going to go. But then you're also going to see a to-do list. You're going to see all about me and locker activity. Your to-do list down here says attend your class Zoom meeting with me, your assigned time. Maybe you got kicked out. Maybe you forgot what was going on. Maybe you had a dentist appointment. Um, but So you didn't get to attend the Zoom meeting, but you still need to do your locker activity and your all about me form. So you can scroll back up here. You can look in the assignments tab on this side, or you can just go get to your assignments from the to-do list. So first, I'm going to go to the locker activity. Okay, so you would read this right here, and the link to access your locker is right here. And then you have a video that tells you how to decorate your locker. On your course up here, you're going to have a thing that says Submit Assignment. You're going to click that once you're done with your locker. And then you're going to go down to the bottom um, and upload from... Google Docs. So there'll be a little button that says Google Docs. You'll upload from there. If you need help, just let me know and I will help you. You can email me. Um, but when you click the link to your locker, it's going to force you to make a copy. You're going to click make a copy, okay? Um, and then you'll decorate your locker. So now that once your locker is decorated, you need to submit it. Like I said, up here, you will have a red submit assignment button and you need to click that. Okay, now let's go back home. And now let's talk about your survey that you're supposed to do. All about me form. Please write all answers labeled long answer questions and complete sentences. Well, guess what? They're not labeled long answer questions. So I'm just going to tell you which ones to uh, write in complete sentences. Remember, a complete sentence has a subject and a verb. So make sure it's not just a subject, it's not just a verb, it has both, okay? So your first name, you don't have to write in complete sentence. You just write your name. Your last name, same thing. What you go by... You don't have to write that in a complete sentence. It's just one word. Um, which pronoun do you prefer for yourself? Do you prefer male pronouns? Uh, he and his. Do you prefer female, she and her? Or do you prefer um, just gender neutral uh, pronouns, they and them? Okay, here's where you're going to start with the complete sentence. Who lives with you? I wouldn't just put my husband. That's not a complete sentence. What is my husband doing? He's living with me. So my husband lives with me. Okay. So if your mom, brother, and aunt live with you, you would put my mom. I would love to know what kind of brother. It's a little brother, a big brother, my baby brother, and my great aunt. Let's see. Let's say that. Live with me. So there's your complete sentence. Okay. If I were to contact home, what language would be best to use? English. English what? English would be best. Okay. Or let's say your parents speak both. My parents speak Spanish, maybe, but they know English. Or let's say they understand English. So you could write that. Remember, English and Spanish are proper nouns. So they have a capital first letter, okay? Um, and then the rest of the questions, just like that, answer in complete sentences. Um, this may take a little bit, um, but I want to know about you. So uh, fill it out to your best ability, okay? Once you're done, you'll push submit, and that's all you have to do to submit it. Like I said, the locker activity is a little bit more difficult to submit, so if you need any help, uh, let me know, okay? 
think that's it. Remember, if you need to contact me, all my, my cell phone number, um, which is my work cell phone, my email, anything like that is right here on my classroom. So just uh, email me and ask me any questions. I hope this helps.